Jotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. This why I'm supposed to be going there, right? Let's put it going around here. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? Yes. If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his eyes. What are we doing? And smiling into the breeze. Sail out! What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last Well, well, the feeder of ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It... Stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Man. Don't tell me what I lost. Eivor! Anyway. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. Eivor. <laughs> Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well... For some time, I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. 
Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That's all for now. Return any time. Okay. Okay. You got it, buddy. Must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. Wait, I was <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no, the rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll make you a fine goblet from out of your skull. Yep. Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... What? Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. Say that. I look forward say that. to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, what? you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. So for I said this game, this game is a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up like you should do this video, thumbs up. Run up to the sail! We can race when I was a living with this old. I was the youngest Stop. of my Stop. favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halpdan the Black of the House of England. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof. Let's put her in here. Hold on. Sailing! What that is that, sails? Yeah. We are. 
We got seals out here. We got the snow out here. Like we just got everything out here. You know, I don't know. I really be. I really be forgetting that I can do all this. Oh, wow. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost. Or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may hmm? confuse or what? disorient you, what? but you must take note of all you see. She better, she better dope me up, that's what she's saying. If you seek true understanding. The boy dying. Boy ain't gonna wake up. So tell, tell, tell me what you see. The boy grabbed, that boy grabbed his stomach and fell. And just fell. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.